When you reach the final stage, so you've already done your testing and you've recorded that in your document, press the white information icon in the upper right hand corner. This displays the features that AIBot is using to help make its decision. In the example here, AIBot has learned that the color matters the most when making a decision and the eyes matter the least. So let's take an example, a look at mine. I did circular, as you know, and it looks to me like my robot with 30 images, it looked pretty good. I could say that it got all 20 out of 20. And if I clicked on ones that weren't, you can see that all of, none of these I would consider as circular. So I think my robot did 100%. Now we're gonna click on this big circle that has an eye on it. And this is the information that the AI bot is using. So it's using body, colors, dorsal fin, tail, and eyes. And it looks like the body was the most important and eyes was the least important. And if I want to do more, I can click. So like here it's talking about body. These were the most important fish parts in determining whether the fish was circular or not circular. So body. And if I click on tail, these were the um, important. These are the most important parts. So, we, so we've seen colors for circular, so, but you can click on them and just, it kind of puts it in perspective here. So on your document, after you click on the eye, for, for my example, the most important was the body shape and the least important was the eyes. And you'll fill yours out. So you can pause the video if you need to and do that part of your assignment. So what features did AIBot think were the most important? Are these those the features that you were expecting to be most important? So probably, because this wasn't a too complicated problem, This is one example of how the problem solving process and machine learning can be used to solve a problem. We prepared our data, used it to train AI, AI bots, then reflected on the results and decided what to do next. And this next. Now we're going to try one more of these and this will be a little bit more challenging. Now for this level, you are going to choose an expression they want to train AI bot to recognize. So you can see that there's lots of expressions here, fierce, hungry, playful, awesome, wild, Silly, delicious, fast, spooky. There's a lot of different choices. So choose the expression that you want to train AI bot to recognize. You're going to record this information in your activity guide. We're going to come back here and go to the next slide. And this one has two parts. We'll do the first part. What new word are you teaching the AI bot to recognize? So type in your selection. What kind of data do you have? Once again, we have images. And how are you labeling your data? So think about that. If you picked angry, then it would be angry or not angry, spooky or not spooky. And then decide how many images you're going to use to train. So maybe 20, 30. And then you're going to test your, your um, problem and see if your training was really good. Once you've finished, we're going to go to the next slide in your document. And this is where you're going to check your information. So I'm going to click on my eye. And I can see here I chose spooky and I don't think that the AI bot really I did a very good job of identifying spooky. So I, I'm going to kind of have a low number as far as my percent goes. Click on the eye get my information. So it looked at the mouth. And that's when I was showing it pictures, that's kind of what I was focusing on as far as a spooky fish. I was looking at the mouth and the least thing I would, was looking at is the dorsal fin. So, you know, it kind of mirrors what images I was showing it and identifying as spooky. So on your document, we're going to go to the next slide and answer the question. So what was the most important feature? What was the least important feature? And then we have two more thought questions to think about. Do you agree with AI bot that these are the most important or least important features? And how could you help AI bot continue to improve how it makes its decision? So you can pause the video, fill out your answers. 
Here's an example from a student who trained AI bot to identify angry fish. Looking at this screen, why do you think color appeared as the second most important feature? And do you think it's okay to consider a fish angry by its color? Even with a small example like this, we see that machine learning can get into trouble and learn something that's harmful to a particular type of fish. Having more data and making sure it represents all types of fish can help solve this problem. These types of examples happen in real life too and can have serious consequences, such as whether or not you receive medical care or get a job offer. Throughout this unit, we will learn how to use machine learning to solve problems. We need to always be thinking about what is the impact and who is being included or excluded. So now you're going to go back to your document for the wrap up and answer these three questions. What is something new you learned about machine learning today? What is a new question you have about machine learning? And how can we use the problem solving process to solve a problem with machine learning? You'll answer these questions on your document and when you're finished, you are ready to turn it in. We're going to be moving on to lesson two.